Good evening, traders. Today is Monday, March 6th. Markets have been closed. Wanted to let futures kind of play out a little bit. So I think I'm finally starting to really put some pieces together. As you probably saw in my morning episode, I made a prediction there as to how the patterns can play out. You'll see that in a little bit. But tonight, I had an epiphany that... I'm saying, as you see here in this tweet, well, actually, during the day, I exited my puts too early. You're going to see a little bit of that. And there was a reason why I exited my puts a little bit early. I was just early. But what I saw could happen is happening right now in futures. I was just early in that call. And now I see why I was early. And I won't be making that mistake again. Tomorrow will not be a down day. Tomorrow's going to be an up day. Despite, I know, everyone thinking, holy smacks, Thursday, Friday, crazy up. Today we went up and filled that gap. We have to go down. Or do we? <laughs> according to whose rules, according to whose opinion, according to whose feelings, it must go down. Think about that. So, this is what I was referring to. <clears throat> Almost new time today. I exited my puts too early. Right here, here's the, here's the, here's the, the tweet. I said, I'm scalping out of my puts. They're in the money anyways, so I'm just going to wait to see the actual flush. Okay? Because at that moment, when I scalped out, I saw... What is now happening, and the reason why I was early is the market maker decided to just wait until market close to do it. But I saw some signs that I was like, eh, are you going to switch directions on us right now? That's why I scalped out. So, tonight I also tweeted, I see what's happening now. I now clearly see the Thursday and Friday up move was purely and specifically dedicated towards filling that 407.21 gap today. And I also see the next move the market's going to make. In that tweet, I said, look for futures tonight to simply float slightly up. No big ups, no big down. Just float. Okay? Now, this was actually my tweet from uh, yester last ni yesterday night when I said, yeah, here, 9.48 9 p.m. Uh, yesterday. Option number two is exactly what played out today. I said, there's only two options here. One or two. Market maker chose option number two by taking the markets down in the morning, pumping it up in the pumping it up well, p taking it down pre-markets, pumping it up in the morning, taking it higher, make a higher high for Monday, then dump it in the afternoon. Pump and dump. That's exactly what happened. Okay? So, I said that uh, tonight is going to be floating up. No big, no big ups, no big downs. How is that going so far? Floating up. Kind of went up, but it went back to floating. Okay? So, how did I know that? Well, I'm not going to quite share that secret just yet. I'm still firming up some things, like I was able to do last night. When, when last night I said, you know, it's going to fill up that, it's going to fill that gap. Before midnight, by the way. And that's what happened. Okay? So, I'm getting it fine-tuned. I'm getting it fine-tuned. Still some work to be done. Anyways, let's get to the intraday action. Here's your five-minute chart. And here's basically 407.21, the top of the gap. 405.65, here's this pink line. That's the where the gap starts, right? Here's the bottom of the gap, top of the gap, okay? All right, so... Orientation out of the way. This this pink line down here is the pre-market low. Pre-market low. 
Coral 362 right there. Never got there. It stopped at that half channel red line right there, didn't it? It sure did. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm not biting on this wick up. You must touch the EMA 50. No exceptions. What that was in reference to was this guy right there. Right here. You never touched EMA 50. No exceptions. You must touch EMA 50. Okay, now I'm getting pretty strict on that rule. Okay, here we go. You know, it's kind of starting to pump, pump, pump. Earth to Houston, come on back down. Bearish divergence on the MACD. At the time, this is at the time. Yeah, it was right here. It was, it was, yeah, right there. Oh, I'm just commenting on the wicks down. Here and here. This new candle is levitating in place at the moment. Not seeing a ton of lift at, at that time right here. Okay, so I'm looking for wicks down. And I'm looking for whether you have lift, whether you're demonstrating lift. Okay. Blue line, 406.20. Okay, yeah, right there. There's just something about this up move I don't trust. Okay, so because you didn't touch the EMA 50 and you're now just starting to pump up, I don't trust it. I don't trust it because I think your target is somewhere nearby and that you're going to first get to your target, then you're going to go and touch the EMA 50 later. You're reserving it for later. That's what that always means. When it doesn't touch the EMA 50 off the bat or in the morning, your target is nearby. And then once you get your target, you're going to come back down. That's 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 the idea. Okay, it was you know, oh, sometime after this, I realized you're going for that gap that you left on on the seventeenth of February. That's exactly where you're going. Okay, that's when I drew in the bands, uh, right here and right there. Okay, and I bet it falls after it fills the gap. Well, it did a triple top, and then it fell. But it did fall. Um, <laughs> okay. So, there you see, you, you already see me starting to, to call out the market maker's plan, your, stre your scheme. It's carving out a high for today, then it'll come back down. See? So, already calling out what, you, what, what you're really doing there. And that's exactly what happened make the high boy you made a triple top high and then you can just go down for the rest of the day that's why it did not back test the ma50 its target was 40721 this pink line 40721 okay so i'm just uh, laying out some options it can either fill that gap now or like let's say it got right here or it can come back down to the EMA 50, like let's just pretend it's right here. Come back down first, back test, and then go up. Now the idea behind that is if that scenario actually did play out, if that played out that way, it's not going to stop at 407.21. Once you back test to the EMA 50, oh, that means you've got the chops to go higher. You're just, you're just back testing to to uh to prove that you that you're you're finding support here. If you actually back test first and then go up to 40721, oh you're gonna you're gonna keep going past 40721. That's what that means. Just like on Friday. Remember on Friday? It's I was it stunned me when it came down, back tested EMA fifty, came back up, took the hive, took back the weekly EMA fifty, and then it just kept on going. See, that's what I'm talking about. So, so the fact that it didn't even touch the EMA 50 all morning long, not until the afternoon, guys, not until this point right there. That's it it almost 1 p.m. Yeah, almost. We'll just call it 12.45. Okay. All right. Yep, right there. Well, it's actually not even quite there. 
I'm considering getting puts if 40721 is filled. So, not natural. The impulsive without this, yeah, this was impulsive without backtesting EMA 50. See, I keep going back to it. I won't let it go. I won't let that concept go. So, yeah, I said, this is not natural. Look at this big old green hourly candle right there. Come on. That, that, this is not natural. This is not natural. You don't do that. You don't bypass EMA 50, a big old giant green candle, unless your target is nearby. And you want to get to that target first. Then you're going to come back down. Okay, yeah, here's, see, I was, uh, that's when I was uh, suspecting this morning. It occurred to me that last Thursday, Friday, and today, all along was simply to close close the gap. That's it. That's all I was going to do. Ever since last week. Ever since late last week. That was the goal all along. Makes sense why, now see, I'm trying to make sense of what's happening. Makes sense why the EMA 50 was not backtested. If it was, that's the green light to keep going higher. Like, way higher. Like it did on Friday. But since there was no back test, go higher first in the morning. Then come back down in the afternoon. But don't go below 405.65. 405. Well, actually, it, 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 it did go below 405.65. I was a little bit too uh, high on that. A little bit too ambitious on that uh, level. Okay. Yep, scaling small into puts. Uh, basically right there. Right there. Got puts. Scaling more puts. <laughs> as soon as I saw it start to go down, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get some more. Okay. Okay. So I was trying to make sense of what the heck is this? You know, this move right here. Well, actually what that does is that's a higher high. That's a lower lower high on the MACD, that is confirming bearish divergence. It's going down. And then I got some more puts. <laughs> so I got I got a couple of puts here. And as soon as I come up here, I saw that bearish divergence. Oh, shoot. As soon as that red candle, like right here, was still small. Right there, I got even more puts. Okay. So, uh, yeah, at the time we had some screenshot issues on Twitter. Nobody was able to see anybody's screenshot. Um, but there was, yeah, like, oh, okay, okay, right here, right here. This is the massive, massive MACD bearish divergence I was talking about. So you see that? That is a little bit higher than that, right? See that? Got it? Well, check this out. It's just sinking down. Look at that. Oh, no way. No way I'm getting calls in that situation, okay? So, uh, could just be triple topping, then go down. See, I was, unfortunately, I wasn't able to show screenshots, so I stopped trying. But yeah, triple top, one, two, three. I was, I was calling it out. Oh, it could just be triple topping right there. Okay, so, and, oh, this is much later, in, oh, 12.15 or so. Okay, so that would have been like right around here. Okay, this was at the time now, 12.15. This was the moment that I suspect it's bottoming or trying to, to create a higher low. It was around this time that I had started to now suspect the up move was going to start. This was around this uh, right here. When I was early, when I scale, I actually scaled out of my puts uh, already. I scaled out, and then that's what I thought the up move was going to happen. That's why I'm talking about. I suspect it's bottoming or trying to. Okay, so I was just I was early because that's happening tonight in futures. Oh yeah. Okay. So <laughs> see, <laughs> I think it's just well, right here. Or was it down here? Let me see. No, it was about right here. So ar around that same time that I thought it's trying to bottom because the up move was going to start, I said, oh, I'm going to start nibbling on some calls. So obviously I was way too early um, 
on that one. So right here, yes, it would have been right here. That's what this, this tweet is about. So I wonder if it consolidates under the SMA or gets rejected. Let's see. Well, we know the answer to that one, rejected, okay? So, you know, SMA 20, this is an important line because if you can break SMA 20 and then you start making your way towards EMA 50, ooh, that's bullish. If you can break it, so obviously all day, you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it here, could not do it here, right? Came down, came up, got, still found resistance, but denied it did. So they intentionally held off, held off, waited for futures. Then they took it up. Okay. Yep, being late in the day, I'd, I'd rather not trade. I mean, I already got enough trades in for today. I don't want to just keep going. There's that little lower I mentioned. Okay, so, oh, that would have been uh, here, approximately. Yeah, 404. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to go a little bit lower as the MACD is trying to carve out a higher low notch right here. See that? So as soon as the higher low notch is complete right here, the price always still makes a little bit lower low. But that's where the lower low stops though. It stops right there and then it goes up. It stops right at the higher low notch. Okay. So. Overall, overall, <clears throat> this is a 65 minute chart. It made a higher low. It sure did. Okay, so made a higher low. And unless extended hours goes lower, then tomorrow we will be going higher. Okay, so that's kind of where we're at um, today. You know, eh, it pretty much went more or less as planned. I know a lot of you guys. <laughs> You all got puts at the same time I did up here at the top, but you held on all the way to, <laughs> to the end. But I, I bailed out way too soon because I was just too early. So, but now I realize exactly why I was early when I bailed out, and I will not be early, too early, um, again. So, please feel free to follow me on Twitter where I do the play-by-play -play of each intraday. Don't forget to listen to your favorite music and your, uh, yeah, your favorite music helps you get into the right state of mind, helps you get in the right flow state. Of course, if you have a cigar, that doesn't help, doesn't hurt either. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't hurt either. Please give this video a like, share, subscribe, or click to be notified when I release something new. With that, I'm Agent 00. Signing off.